Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about another one of my gadgets that I carry on a daily basis and I find extremely useful. It is the Tarnox Swiss card. Now the first thing you're going to notice is the really cool magnifying glass which I find very useful and I've used more on more than one occasion. The um, other feature on the outside is a, a metric ruler. That is useful to me um, but it's still handy having one, and I've used it as a straight edge before, so that is kind of handy. Um, another feature I like on this is that it has a flashlight, and it's a red LED, which is um, extremely useful if you need to look at a map in a car when someone else is driving, because this is going to let you look at the map, but you're not going to um, blind them. It's not going to wipe out their night vision. Very good. That's why pilots use uh, red lights in their cockpits and such. Other tools that come with this, there is a little flat screwdriver, and believe it or not, you can actually use this on both small flatheads and on um, Phillips with this little pointy one right there. I've actually used that, it is quite effective. The largest tool are the completely separate scissors, which is nice because the scissors that are like built into a standard Swiss Army knife. I find it's a little awkward because you got this. You've, you're holding the entire Swiss Army knife, so it's nice having this small set and it's the same quality as the ones in, this, in the, in the uh, Swiss Army knives. So it's got some decent steel, and they are very effective. I use them to cut fingernails, clothing. My wife has occasionally borrowed them to do a craft project when we were out somewhere. Um, next, we have a standard Swiss Army knife blade. Nothing. You know, all that exciting. I have used this on occasion um, to dig out splinters from my hand. Now one thing is that you'll notice there's a small piece of yellow tape on here. So I've carried this for years and eventually um, just wear and being in a pouch on my belt on a daily basis made the plastic get a little on the loose side and so I actually dropped that out one day. So by putting a small piece of tape in there, it closed up the gap slightly and now the knife stays in place. Unfortunately, because of that, I lost the pin. There used to be a pin inside this, there's a little hole right here for a pin, and the pin was actually useful for getting slivers out of my fingers as well. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of a bummer that the pin's gone. I just noticed it as I was about to make this video. I wasn't aware of this fact. Um, other features are a pen, a very small pen, it is however useful, and I have used it as a pen before and a pair of the classic um, Swiss Army tweezers, which are very good quality. I've used um, these many times uh, in the past for removing slivers. Now you're probably asking, why is removing slivers such a big, big issue for me? Well, at one time I was an inspector and I inspected parts that were made out of metal and rubber. And I had to inspect the parts with my bare hands. I had no choice. I needed to feel everything on that rubber seal so I could tell if there were bumps or defects. I had no choice. And um, because of this, I was exposed to these steel casings on a regular basis, and I would literally be digging splinters out of my hand on a weekly, sometimes on a bad week, multiple times in a week. And having a kit on myself that let me get this out right there on the shop floor so I didn't have to go find a magnifying glass or a pair of tweezers or, something, or a knife or something made my life a whole lot easier. It was a pain literally, um, but it was just a fact of life. I got fortunate in that I always have, I, while well, I had numerous situations like this, I never got really badly injured. I've seen a couple of people that got stabbed with some large slivers and, and, and it, was, it was pretty nasty. And I've gotten cut more than once because it, uh, an edge was sharp and I didn't see it until I touched it. Um, but the Swiss card is great and you can buy these at like Target for 20 bucks, so they're readily available. It's not like this is going to be hard to come by. And I believe they're available in multiple colors. Um, I kind of like the, the red because it's the classic Swiss Army color. Um, and it's part of my daily kit. It's something I carry all the time. Um, now that the pin's gone, I debate maybe I'll get a new one. Maybe I can just find another pin that fits in there. Making the pin fit when it's a little loose, though, is going to be difficult because it's just getting older. Um, but I mean, I've been carrying this thing for like six years, so the fact that it may get a little wear on it after that amount of time, and it is made out of plastic, isn't a real shocker. 
but I recommend it. I've seen a number of other card-like uh, gadgets. I think Tool Logic makes one, and I, I think there might be another one on the market. And I really think this is one of the better quality ones, and 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 it's got the tools that I like. The one tool it doesn't have, which I kind of would have would enjoy, is a toothpick. Toothpicks are very handy for many reasons, um, but that's the only tool that's missing that I could probably use on a regular basis. Um, but if you are looking for a small device to throw in your bag, your purse, your wallet, or something, and you want something that gives you some access to gadgets but isn't big and bulky like a Swiss Army knife, go for the Swiss card.